Praise the Lord. I extend my loving greetings to everyone in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today's topic for the devotion is the royal priests. Shall we turn to the book of Leviticus chapter 21. Here we read about the conduct of the high priest and the priests. It starts with addressing the Aaron's sons who are the priests. They were not to have any physical contact with the dead body except it was the nearest relative. It will make them ceremonially unclean. Not a sin, but unclean. In the New Testament time, all the believers are priests. 1 Peter chapter 2 verses 9 and 10. We are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. Therefore, as we read in 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 verses 9 and 10, we are not to sorrow like those who have no hope. We will see all our dear ones again who die in Christ, who are believers. Those who live in Christ, they die in Christ. And their soul will be with Christ instantly. We don't need to weep and mourn like the worldly people who have no hope when the believers die. Also, as believers, as priests, we are representing the Lord. We are brought into the ministry of priests to serve Him, offer sacrifices and speak of the Lord to the people as Old Testament priests did. Because of this high rank as the chief man among the people of God, the high priest should not defile himself. The high priest should be holy, should not profane the name of the Lord in any manner in their service to the Lord as well as in their daily life. He should marry only those of good moral standard should keep the high standard of priesthood, should be a good role model in their life to the family and others. Priests should marry only an Israelite virgin, not even a widow. Even the family members should keep their standard of priests. This is applicable to us as believers, as priests. We should keep the highest standard as priests. As God's children. Our life should be a good model to everyone around us, to our family members. And every member of the family is responsible to keep this high standard of priesthood, holiness, keeping themselves holy and separated from the worldly lifestyle. Aaron, the high priest, had the high calling, verses 10 through 15. When someone dies, someone close to him dies, he should not rip off his garment or uncover his head as it was the practice of that culture during those times. He was anointed and sanctified for God's service. He should not leave his post as the high priest to go out and grieve, but he had to stay in the place where God has appointed him as the high priest. Remain there and do the service for the Lord. The priority was to continue in the presence of the Lord and do the sacrifice, do the service for the Lord. As New Testament prays, the death of our loved ones or any heartbreaking event should not take us away from the Lord. Rather, we should go to the Lord even more and spend time with other believers and continue serving the Lord. Do not stay home and stop serving or worshipping the Lord. Continue for the Lord. Death or painful events in life should not overtake our spiritual responsibilities. 
the lord god expected the offerings to be without blemish that also we read here so is the case with the offerer the offerer also should be without blemish salvation and the service is for everyone everyone who is a believer but spiritual leadership is not for everyone in the book of james we read not everyone our teachers new testament time not everyone in the family of god are called to be teachers or leaders but everyone can participate we also read about physical defects people with physical defects were not allowed to do the service for the lord these physical defects point to our spiritual defects spiritual blindness spiritual dwarfism etc not seeing the things in god's perspective and not growing spiritually that is spiritual defect our callings are different each believer has a different call we should be faithful to whatever god has entrusted us with wherever we are let us be faithful stewards of christ representing him in every areas of our life as a royal priest of god amen